Way before I ever came to China, I always wondered what Chinese food was like in China. I'm from the East Coast of the United States, from New Jersey, and we have lots of Chinese restaurants there. And when you go to a Chinese restaurant in the area of the Northeast, in New Jersey or New York, all of the workers in the restaurant are Chinese. So I always thought that the food must be pretty authentic. So now that I've been living in Shanghai, China, for the last year and two months, I have an idea of what Chinese food is like here in China. Now, I haven't traveled all over China. I haven't been to Beijing or really anywhere outside of Shanghai. And so I can't give a complete overview of that, but I have tasted the food here in many different types of restaurants. And just to answer the question from my point of view, remember this is completely subjective. I prefer, and I feel really bad about this and a little bit embarrassed of my answer too, but I prefer Chinese food in the United States to Chinese food in China. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. But let me give a little more information than that um, and tell you why. Now, I have had some good dishes here and I have had some great things that are I've never had in the United States. Obviously, they're, they're, they're unique um, and they're probably the things that Chinese people miss when they're not in their own country. But um, some of the major differences is, first of all, when you go to a Chinese restaurant in the US, it's really strange. But I've been to Chinese restaurants in California and in a few other states too. And it seems like the menu that we receive in the Chinese restaurants in the United States are pretty standard. And they have a lot of the same exact dishes. It gives you the, the impression that this must be what Chinese food is. This must be what they eat in their own country. Why would they all, um, in all the Chinese restaurants across the whole country, all copy the same pattern of, you know, lo mein, um, kung pao chicken, uh, um, egg foo young, and all of these same dishes, you see them, uh, ch chicken fried rice, beef fried rice, pork fried rice, vegetable fried rice, and you see all of these same exact things. Well, they do have all, some of those dishes here, but you never just, you never see a, a menu like that organized the way it is. Um, in the States, for one. And what Chinese people like to eat is not what Americans like to eat in Chinese food, obviously. And I've seen this happen from country to country. I've lived in a bunch of countries. The food is adjusted and changed to the palate or the taste of the people there. Now, this even happens with fast food restaurants, which I've only been in usually because I'm accompanying a friend. I don't eat McDonald's or Burger King in fast food usually unless it's a really desperate situation. But the McDonald's, the menu of McDonald's in Peru is different from the menu of McDonald's in the United States and different from the McDonald's in China. And I imagine in Russia too. And it usually has some adjustments made for the way that people eat in that country. Um, so it may be in a country where they already eat a lot of spicy food, the hamburgers and whatever will have a lot more spices add, added to it. But one of the major differences for um, uh, Chinese people is like chicken meat. Americans seem to like chicken breast chopped up into nice clean pieces in their Chinese food. Chinese people don't like chicken breast, it would seem. Uh, they like chicken on a bone and they like the boniest part of chicken, the wing. They like the little section of the wing, not the very last part of the wing, the pointy part, but the next part of the wing, that's like their favorite part. You go to a supermarket and you see that part of the chicken all by itself uh, in, the, in the meat section and it has the highest price. It's like 19 kwai, that's the Chinese money or yuan or RMB. So 19 kwai for that per kilo, which is 2.2 pounds, as opposed to chicken breast, completely off the bone, clean chicken breast, they sell it, is uh, six or seven kwai. It's a third of the price. They don't like chicken breast, I guess, because they feel like it's flavorless and they like it on the bone. Now, I like chicken wings too, crispy chicken wings, but it's just that much cheaper. So the problem is that in the restaurants, you don't see a lot of dishes with chicken breast in it. 
its bones. But they do something else that I really don't like is they'll, it seems like they take a chicken and they just chop it up with a great big cleaver or something and then they add those parts to some kind of dish with hot pepper or with vegetables. So then you're pick to eat it, you're picking through, you know, you're using chopsticks, but it has little broken pieces of bone uh, and sharp edges of bone mixed with the chicken. And so, you know, and when I first got here, some of the other Americans who have been living here a long time, so, oh, they told me, you get used to it, don't worry about it, but I don't want to get used to having to pick through little bones and, and stuff like that. Um, I'll have to save some of the other uh, episodes for another video, but there was uh, a time when the food that we tried to eat, that I tried to eat, smelled so bad. Um, and I'm pretty adventurous and I will try different things out of curiosity. I like to try different foods, but this was beyond. I'll save that for another time. But um, yes, in all, I would say per, from personal experience that I prefer Chinese food in the United States to fr from a restaurant with good Chinese cooks from to Chinese food here. But there are a few dishes and a few street things that they make with um, like these crepes and then vegetables on them and then they roll it up that are just delicious. They do have amazing delicious food here. Um, and, I th and I've asked Chinese people that and most of them say that they prefer Chinese food in China to Chinese food in America. But I did meet one, I did talk to one uh, Taiwanese guy and he said that he likes the Chinese food in California as to opposed to the Chinese food or the Taiwanese food in Taiwan because that the they have a lot more chicken breast and it's like kind of neater and cleaner um, to eat. Uh, but you know there's give and take everywhere you go. So that's kind of my uh, my view on that. Um, like I said, I've lived in a lot of countries and I like to try different food f and, and would imagine that the authentic food from the country, like Italian food in Italy, I know is delicious. But I have had good Italian food in the United States from my family who are uh, Italian Americans. And I know you can get good Italian food in the United States too. Um, so that one would be hard for me to say which is better. Uh, but. I'm not leaving yet, so maybe my opinion will eventually change here in the coming months and years as I live in China and I discover more of their delicious food because they do have some really delicious meals here.